Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's uh, tutorial or review, as you can tell by the title, um, is going to be on the Bellamy Hair Extensions, the new Guy Tang. Ba Balila? Balila. I cannot say that word. I know I'm a hairdresser. They cannot say it. Bal. Balayage. <laughs> ba oh my. Anyways, I cannot say that word. Every time I mean to say that word, I will post it right here because I, for the life of me, cannot say that word. Anyways, um, so they're the guy, new guy Tang ones. He's amazing. Let's just start that off for review number one. He is fantastic. If I ever get my hair done by him, it will be like a dream come true. He is amazing. Okay, first thing, um, Bellamy extensions are gorgeous. Um, this is my area. This is like my dream. I've tried for over a year now working with a company trying to get my own hair extensions. I'm extremely picky. Um, I had some that were pretty good, but they weren't to the level that I wanted them to be. And then of course the hair extension or the company that I was dealing with um, sold their company just as we're getting closer to what I want and um, dealing with the new people was just overly exhausting and a uh, language barrier and they weren't listening to me and um, yeah, so I just kind of basically gave up but I worked really hard to get to that point. Anyways, so ba bottom, <laughs> long story short, um, I'm extremely picky about hair extensions because I know what I want to create um, and what I want to put out there. So, and I know the difficulties there is with hair extensions and trying to get um, color matches and things like that, um, as opposed to like doing someone else's hair. And I totally understand that. So, Bellamy hair extensions are amazing. The quality of hair is amazing. Um, yeah, the way it curls is amazing. Everything about it is amazing. Okay, so the guy Tang Bali, I will put the word here. Let's just say ombre because that's what I can say. Um, ombre like extensions. Okay, the concept absolutely amazing. Um, color selection to me is kind of a flop, but again, I understand that um, extension kind of world and it's a little bit harder. Um, to achieve certain colors that you can get in a hair salon, and I totally get that. Um, I was a little bit bummed about um, the color selection. Like I said, they don't all—they don't cater to a lot of people's hair color, and when you're spending um, that kind of money on them, you kind of really don't want to have to take them to a hairdresser or even myself. I didn't really want to have to color them because, like, I, that's what I'm paying for. I. I'm paying for his extensions to get that because they created that so I didn't have to do that extra step so I didn't you know you don't mind spending the 200 plus depending on the thickness of what um, depending how many grams you're getting um, on the extensions because I didn't have to go and spend the money on the color and everything and then take my time to do it now um, I was going to order there is um, an eight, a level eight, um, which is, you know, pretty much like um, a medium blonde, I would probably say. And then the end color was a 60, which would be on the paler blonde. By It says ashy, but by no means is it like an ashy or blonde. It's just, it's a paler blonde. Um, it's nice. They were nice, but I was worried about the top section it was a little bit too warm for me. Um, it looks a little bit on camera. Um, Desi Perkins, I think it's Desi. Uh, I'll if I can, I'll link her video. She does a review on them, 
it looks fabulous in her hair but she's mostly blonde and they blend really nice with her um, guy tang uses those in his video a model that actually has darker hair it looks fabulous when her hair is down I can't imagine it looking very good when it's half up and half down because if you see there was like a big color difference so anyway I ended up getting the 1c and um, 18 which is dirty blonde on the ends now the 1c is definitely not like a one is like black basically it's most likely it's it's copper because when I got it it's a very mocha color so I would probably say it's not black it's like maybe a level four so I did color I did color the extensions I am wearing them now so I cut about um, two inches off because I knew they were going to be too long for me anyways so I got the 160 grams um, I don't have very much hair so I picked the 160 grams they cost $237 that's after taxes and all everything which I think is really good because I mean that's your delivery your taxes and everything so um, for the quality of extensions like they're so far like they're very nice and like I said I've actually like I did lighten the ends and um, they still feel amazing so so far so good again I'm picky on extensions on how they last they should last you a good six months if not more so from what everybody's been talking about Bella me lasts really well so the extension quality is amazing so, so when you get your extensions um, which this is things that I love is that it has this like woven lace piece your clips are amazing it's got the silicone um, rubber thing on the inside which is amazing that um, helps so they don't slip and it also allows you not to back comb your hair too much because the the silicone helps it not slipping and um, back combing it too much can create like um, can cause breakage when you're clipping your extensions and so anything that allows you to not have to back comb it or to or tease it sorry or um, anything like that which is nice so clips are very tight um, love that um, to the point that sometimes they can like hurt your head but that's a good thing they stay in um, so I can't really say it's woven it's good um, good chunk of hair so I'm good but okay so this is the piece I did in color and okay so there's the front so this is how you clip it in and you have a quite a bit of dark there still is like a little bit of a demarcation but to be honest with you is every single piece of hair is going to be exactly the same um, the concept of this is amazing I think he still really did a good job um, but to me there's a lot of dark and then it goes light at the bottom um, and then mostly the balayage again put the word here is all through the back um, yeah so I mean it's a little bit like but this was just one of the pieces that I kept out because um, it was a little bit more choppy the other pieces that I had um, that I have in my hair and that I did color the end I, I just lightened the ends you don't really want to lighten or touch this part because again it's got a warm tone under it it's just gonna go orange and brassy and then you get to tone it and it's just it would be a hot mess so um, I just lightened the the ends of my extensions I just put like 20 volume for I think I did it for seven minutes on the ends and it just brightened them up a little bit nothing major it was just to take that little bit of brassiness out I still might tone them but right now the most part I think they look really good and it just lightened them that extra shade is what I wanted um, shorter hair like I do so this is just one piece that's not overly amazing like I said the rest of it is really nicely done I think he did a really good job with it um, I feel like if you have really blonde hair um, like a platinum ombre and you go with the the lighter um, shade the 8 and the 60 I think you're like you're gonna really 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 like that um, 
and it's it, I think that will blend even better. Um, the issue that I have, and like I'm not paid to say any of this or whatever, like they don't even know who I am. I'm just trying to help people that are looking to get these extensions and what for you. Um, yeah, so what would work best for for you purchasing the extensions. And if it's worth it for you to get these ones or to just get the regular Bellamy. So if you have shorter pieces like I do, like I, if I wear my hair straight, dude, I have a mullet. And <laughs> it's just because I have literally put my hair through so much trying to get it lighter from the black. I was so sick of it and yeah, I just have really fine hair and I just can't take it and I have a daughter that pulls on it constantly. So yeah, broken bangs and sort of have a mullet going on. So anyway, um, as long as I wear it curly, it tends to blend. Now my thing is, one thing is um, there's a lot of dark going through there and if you have shorter pieces, it's not going to blend as nice. Now, in the front, I actually have um, a couple of pieces of my older set that I wore in my other videos, or my last video, if you wanna check, take a look. And that's just filling in this section so it, it blends a bit better, because when you get these um, balayage, ombre, um, extensions, <laughs> It's so horrible that I can't say that word. Um, there's only so much blonde. So if you do want to cut them and things like that, you end up with too much dark and not enough blonde. Um, so to me, that's kind of a, a miss. Like all your little, the little small clips that you, um, I can find one. All your small clips, um, so these side pieces, these side pieces you can use on your side or you can actually use them in here. It gives you a little bit more length or a little bit more color. Now these side pieces, like it is beautiful. Like he did a really nice job. They blend. They're not like a st stark line. Like I said, it was one piece out of the whole set. There was a little bit more of a line and you can put that in the back of your head. You wouldn't even notice. Um, but uh, yeah, it just, it blends really nicely. It's just that these are meant to be in your side pieces. So for the people that have shorter hair, I would say like this whole section or on every piece even, the outer sections should have more blonde. Like the blonde should be higher. Um, when I'm doing that technique, you know, or when it's done, I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things and I'm not, I'm just, this is just my opinion, um, is you want that lighter section in through here and then it gradually goes a little bit darker in the back and then you grow into your, um, your underneath is a little bit darker and then it like gradually goes in to the, the blonde, right? I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. These ones, um, it's kind of the same technique through all of it, except for there's one top piece that has more dark, which I think that is a very, that's the piece you should wear on the top. I think that's like genius. That's how it should be, more dark throughout the back. I love that. The only thing is, is if you have short hair, these do not blend in the front. There's just too much dark. Like if your pieces stopped here that were already on, like ombre or whatever, um, or highlighted, um, you're gonna have like a piece that stops here and then you have a dark and then, and it doesn't blend. So that's why I have like a couple of um, my pieces. So there's another one. And then in through here is one of like my old pieces and I mean, this is just something I did myself, like on one of the tester ones that I had, and like it's just, it's pretty much just ombre. Um, but yeah, like that I put in here just to blend, because otherwise, if I show you, it's just a little too much dark. And I don't know if you can tell, again, like I said, I'm extra picky. Most people aren't that picky, but I'm a hairdresser and I want it to look as good as I can possibly get it. And yeah, to me, like there's 
where my hair stops. So anybody that has shorter pieces in through here and shorter bangs and stuff like that, and you already have that, it's not gonna blend in that area. So those shorter pieces should have been, and I mean, I already have it clipped here. Like I don't, I mean, I guess you could clip it up a little bit higher, but yeah, like I said, it goes too far down for the dark. And if you, it's harder, I feel like you can't really cut that section to make it blend. So that's the only thing I think that is kind of a bummer about these. Um, so yeah, that's my tip. Basically what I'm saying, what I would like as my review, they are amazing. He did a great job with them. The color selection is, and if you have, um, I would have liked there to be a little bit more colors or, you know, something, um, he's known for high contrast ombre. So to me, it's like, where's that level four and, um, an ashy platinum blonde. Like that's what he's known for. So that's kind of like what I wanted. Um, so I went with the darker one and lightened it. Whatever. We made it work. I think they're fabulous. Like, I think it looks really, really, really nice. If, um, if you have shorter hair, I would probably say skip the guy tang extensions and go just order the regular, regular Bellamy. I think they're about, I think the 160 grams are $160. And I mean, to me, they're totally worth the money. I think it's worth it. Spend the 160, go to your hairdresser and get your hairdresser to customize the extensions to your hair. To me, I think that works better if you have shorter hair. If you don't have any ombre in your hair, but you want these extensions to have that without damaging your hair, you are go if you have like fine hair, I think that the 160 grams will really work. If you have medium to thick hair, you're gonna have to go with the 220 grams to or 240. You're gonna have to go up because you need more hair um, to get that effect. Like I said, there's not as much blonde and it's not done on the top part, it's done underneath. So you're gonna need a lot of extension. Um, and if you have, if you already have long hair and you have it, I think that these extensions you'll love. I think that they'll work for you, but um, yeah. I this video like helps anybody that's trying to figure out um, which ones to get and which ones not to get. Um, my hair always looks darker on camera. It is not that dark on the root. Um, but even though these are really, really dark, the extensions at the root, they still match. So, I mean, you can still get away with um, a lot of different colors of hair. So, yeah. I hope you guys uh, liked this review slash ramble about everything. If you guys want a tutorial on a quick, easy way how to, like, uh, trim your um, hair extensions. It gives you a little bit of a layer, but some of the scary ones that I've seen on YouTube, oh my goodness, please, when you're spending that much money, um, don't just YouTube anybody cutting their hair extensions because what might work for them may not work for yours. Um, so yeah, don't take your scissors. Oh, and like, you know, you see people hacking at them. Please be careful if you're spending all that money um but if you wanted to if somebody wants a tutorial or something on a really easy way just to trim them yourself to give them a little bit more of an angle so they're not so um blunt or whatever but like i said bellamy ones come out really nice they have like a nice angle to them they're not so super straight but um yeah just a quick and easy little thing you could do at home um just to trim them a little bit um I can do that if anybody is interested. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this uh, review. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.